What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, and I'm back at Classic Lanes here in Rochester Hills, Michigan, home of MRB Classic Pro Shop, where today we're gonna take a look at that new EJ ball, the VIP. Uh, we're gonna take it out here. It's got a little couple of shots out here, not many, but we're gonna take it out here on a fairly fresh condition, and you'll be able to see what this thing's got. I believe it's 42 feet here versus the 44 feet over at uh, New Glass Bowl. So we're back here at Classic. We're gonna take this ball out here uh, and see what she's got. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. I got the VIP here, and you guys can see the layout on the screen, but it is 45 by four and a half by 45. A little bit different than normal, um, just because I wanted to go with a little bit stronger pin. Let's see what these bowling balls would do with a more typical layout than what you guys would use. Well, we're gonna do it same as normal, back to the old school days, around that 13, 14 range, and see what she's got. clean kind of reminds me of that flash a little bit let's hope she picks up a little bit better down lane as we move left because that flash was a little too late at times maybe it was because of the layout i'm not really sure but we're gonna find out here in a minute we'll go a few left oh that's way left off my hand oh I don't even know how that four pin, that should have went runaway Brooklyn. Good grief, that was awful. All right, let's not do that again. Let's try and throw one a little bit gooder than that. A little bit gooder than that, but it's picking up the middle of the lane there, that's good. Even when I missed left, it picked up the middle of the lane. All right, trying again. Man, that one even picked up pretty good. All right, so definitely stronger than the flash for sure. That's good news. I know there's been some shots on this, but it's not been a lot, not much. So it's still fairly fresh. But enough to carry the oil down a little bit maybe. We'll find out, we're just gonna keep going left. I think this ball's gonna really like going around the lane. A little better. Yeah, that one you could really see pick up the middle of the lane. And as soon as it got to the dry out there, it didn't overhook off of it, it rolled off of it. Like it started to make its motion, then rolled and got stronger through the pins. And that's what we're looking for. That is what we're looking for. I'm gonna keep going left. Much better, much, much better as we go left. I mean, it might be okay going straighter, straighter. I haven't tried it really straight yet. We'll try that at the end. We'll try to get around my eight, nine, 10 range like we normally do. But you can see already this thing, it's, uh, it picks up the middle of the lane a whole lot better than that flash did. That flash really waited till the back part of the lane to do anything, for me anyway. So let's see what this thing's got a little bit further. I missed right. Yeah, I didn't quite want to get there. Missed right, but it didn't overreact off of it, so that's good. I'd take a flat 10 there on a bad shot all day long. So let's see what happens if we go further left and get it to the right sooner. Get up against the ball return now. Should be a fairly quick review. So we already can see what this thing's capable of. Thank you. 
Ooh, daddy. Yeah, there you go. That one, get, that, get that one out to like four or five. Watch it come screaming back, driving through the pens. What's that word everybody uses? Continuous, super continuous through the lane or through the pens. I mean, it really is though. So we don't want deflection. I, watch, I think that's what we kind of saw out of the flash. So this might be a good upgrade for me from the flash. Flash being really good on super burn. I think this will be good for, you know, a little bit step above that before we get to super burn. Get in front of the ball return here, see what she's got. Oh, dead left off my hand. Oh, I can't even carry that. Come on. All right. I'm not sold anymore. If I can't carry a Brooklyn, the ball can't be any good. <laughs> Sorry, EJ. <laughs> Just kidding. Operator error. But at least you see somebody miss a bunch with it. Watch what it's capable of doing. So see if I can throw this one a little bit better than that last one. A little better. Oh, swishing that seven out. Swishing that seven out. I'm really curious now what this thing would do on a fresh, fresh condition. Because this place is usually pretty sparky down lane when you first oil them. But then again, Mason's not running the lanes anymore here. So I don't know if they changed the pattern or what since the end of the pandemic. But I don't know. Let's try that one one more time, see if I can get a little bit slower. That ought to do it. Yeah, trip that nine pin forward. There we go, all right, now let's take a look a little bit straighter, see if we can get it to go straighter in that eight, nine, 10 range. See what it looks like there. Now guys, remember, we're doing a little bit of a fundraiser for this ball. Every bull and ball that is sold, every EJ ball that's sold at bullerx.com, the profits are being sent to the Epilepsy Foundation. So EJ and Bullerx are donating the money for this ball to the Epilepsy Foundation. So very, very important you guys go get one of these and uh, help out that foundation. Ah, uh, yeah, that one kind of, it read the dry and then just kind of bailed a little bit. So I don't know if it'll be super good playing straighter, but it's gonna be okay all around playing in for sure. All right, there you go. So that is the EJ ball, that VIP ball, uh, where you can get yours over at bowlerx.com. Remember, all the proceeds, all the profit are going over to the Epilepsy Foundation. Uh, and then EJ also has somebody uh, from the pro shop that is donating $50 on every bowling ball as well. So uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. I'll put the name of that pro shop because I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll try to put the name on here so you guys can see which pro shop is actually doing that for him. Um, but they are donating $50 for every ball over to the Epilepsy Foundation as well. So make sure to head over to bowlerx.com, get yours today. And also with this ball, you get an EJ shirt and then an autographed card from him as well. So kind of a cool little bonus for doing all this with them. But that's all I got for you today. Tomorrow, we're going to come out. We're going to show you the VIP, the EJ ball versus the Belmo ball. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be exciting. And I'm going to use this exact same pair of what you just saw. So let's see what the difference is. But I'm out of here for today. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.